So on May 4th, my son, Matthew Corsa, who was 12, went to school. Matthew is a very active lacrosse player and a very healthy um, young adult. And on May 4th, he was in gym class and started to feel ill and had chest pain. It was one of the rare days that I was at work and my wife was also at work. But needless to say, he went to the hospital and his EKG and troponin levels were elevated. He was transported from my hometown to Boston Children's Hospital, where they speculated that he had myocarditis, which I had never heard about. So 45 minutes later, he was up in the ICU with a IJ, internal jugular um, IV in his neck. And a month later, we didn't realize that we would be there that long. We knew nothing about myocarditis. Matthew's attitude was fantastic, and it was an incredible journey in the ICU for the entire month of May. He underwent four different procedures, and each procedure had a different twist to it. In the first procedure, Matthew went in, and they were gonna biopsy for myocarditis, and he had 100% coronary artery block in his artery. And the Boston Children's Hospital, as well as the Brigham and Women's Adult Cardiac Team, worked on Matthew, and they cleared that block. Several days later, Matthew had more chest pain, and they went in and put a stent into his coronary artery, which uh, benefited him greatly. And then subsequent um, procedures after that, he, the latest, had an ICD put into his body to help with future arrhythmias. So we go back to Boston Children's Hospital every week. My son and I look at everybody there now like their extended family. Uh, We see them quite often and we're very appreciative of all the great work that they've done. And we think often about the future uh, families that have come into Boston Children's Hospital with similar type of myocarditis um, diagnosis. So we hope that the foundation can help those families in the future, and we're dedicated to helping that cause. The foundation has helped me greatly with, so when Matthew was admitted on May 4th, I reached out because I have an A-type personality and I wanted to understand what myocarditis was. Although the hospital was great to educate me on what it was, I needed to do that education myself. So I sent an email to the Myocarditis Foundation and I was surprised three hours later that I got a response from Candace Moose, the co-founder of the foundation. And 30 minutes later, I was on the phone with Candace. And to be honest, I have no idea why I called her. But she was great, she was on the phone. She spoke with me, and the most important thing that she said at that time was, you know, take care of Matt. We're going to send you some information so that you can understand what myocarditis is. We'll be thinking about your son. We'll be praying for your son. And ever since that phone call, I've not, you know, not kept in touch with Candace Moose. And I'm currently in the position right now where I'm using more of the benefits of the foundation. And I haven't even explored all of the different things that the Myocarditis Foundation offers But what they've given me to date has been incredibly beneficial to me personally, my wife, and not my son, who I am glad is only 12 years old and is living his life like he should as a 12-year-old.